there are a lot of powerful and fantastic techniques to grasp any topics or any concepts easier. One such is going to be Conceptica tables or wheels. So we at Biotechnica has come up with revised with Biotechnica through Biotechnica Conceptica wheels and Conceptica tables for you. So today I'm going to talk about one of the important unit which is going to be unit number six plant physiology which is nitrogen metabolism. The topic for today's discussion is going to be nitrate reductase and nitrite reductase. So let's get started to the video. So first thing we have to understand is what is this nitrate reductase and nitrite reductase. This question you probably get in statement based questions in part B as well as in part C. So this is one of the important core thing that you have to study during your preparation time. So first let's talk about nitrate reductase and next we'll be talking about nitrite reductase. This nitrate reductase can be written as capital N and capital R and nitrite reductase can be written as capital N, small i and capital R. So in examination they'll be giving you this terminologies. First let's talk about nitrate reductase. So first let's understand what is this nitrate reductase. This nitrate reductase which we can write it as capital N and capital R is the one which is responsible to convert nitrite into nitrite. Nitrate into nitrite. So this is nitrite and this is nitrate. Let's go for the first point. What does this enzyme actually has? Nitrate reductase is going to be an enzyme which has three complex which is present or we can say three domains are present. One is going to be heme the second one is going to be molybdenum complexed with any organic compounds called terines and the next one is going to be FAD. So there are three things you can see FAD, heme and molybdenum complexed with the organic molecule is present. And the main role it helps to reduce nitrate which is NO3 minus into NO2 minus. So this is the role of this enzyme this is actually taking place in the cytosol of the cell in the plant inside the plant it is actually taking place so let's see this image which is given here so first thing you have to understand who is actually giving the electron which is going to be NADH or NADPH so NADH or we can say NADPH is going to be the electron donor how many electrons are they giving you can see it over here it's going to be two electrons so they are going to give two electron this two electron will be finally accepted by the last molecule which is NO3 minus NO3 minus which is nothing but nitrate so this is the sequence which is actually given over here so from NADH the electrons two electrons are actually finally given to NO3 minus which is nitrate and this is going to be the enzymes this three is going to be the enzyme which has all the three domains FAD, heme and MOCO or we can say molybdenum complex with the organic material which we call it terines. So first what exactly happened the third point says the FAD binding domain accepts two electrons from NADH. So NADH is going to give two electrons to FAD. First they give electrons to FAD. Now the FAD is going to get reduced. As they gain the electron, they get reduced. Now they give the electrons to heme proteins. And now they, this heme protein give the electrons to molybdenum. Complexed with the organic material. And this molybdenum gives the final electrons to NO3-. And now as the electron has accepted two electrons, actually coming from NADH it will be converted into NO2 minus. So this three complex together we call it nitrate reductase we can call it NR that is what is given in this image. You can see two hinge this is hinge one and this is going to be hinge two which is actually attached between heme is actually attached between FAD and we can say molybdenum complex. So this is the role of nitrate reductase. Now I told you this reaction usually takes place in cytosol. 
what we have done here a nitrate has getting converted into nitrite but this nitrite is very toxic in nature so it has to be immediately transported to the plastids or chloroplasts so this nitrite reductase we can write it as capital n small i and capital r this process or we can say these both processes are called as nitrification it takes place in plastids or we can say it takes place in chloroplast if it's plastids it will be taking place in root if it's chloroplast it will be taking place in any green part so i'm writing it as leaves let's talk about this enzyme what does this enzyme has so this enzyme is going to have two important groups we can say which is heme and we can say ferrous sulfur fe so they are going to have four ion and four sulfur is going to be present and to that heme is actually attached and who is going to give the electron the final electron will finally go to nitrite you can see here the electron finally goes to no2 minus which is whatever it is formed here nitrite this electron will go but how many electron actually goes first they will get the electrons you can see they get the electron from light through the process of photosynthesis and they will be given to something called as ferridoxin so the electron donor is going to be ferridoxin here but in this previous case here the electron donor we said it's going to be nadh but here the electron donor is going to be ferridoxin so this ferridoxin gives electrons to fes and it gives electrons to heme and finally gives the electrons to no2 minus so the electron goes from ferridoxin and then to fe4s4 and then to heme and then to no2 minus and this ultimately changes into ammonia and this ammonia gets changed into ammonium ions now this ammonium ions are formed in the plastids and chloroplast can be converted into an amino acids and as well as for the finally synthesis of any kind of proteins so if we have to see this one this enzyme complex comprises heme fe4s4 and ferridoxin and we have to remember ferridoxin is going to be the electron donor who is the electron acceptor here here it's going to be nitrite which is no2 minus and what's the role of this it is helpful to convert nitrite into ammonia actually it helps to convert nitrite into ammonia and what are the two prosthetic groups that are present fe4s4 and a specialized heme is actually present and this is finally responsible to bind and reduce it finally into ammonium ions so this actually help us to understand the difference between a nitrate reductase and a nitrite reductase and a nitrate reductase which is this N nr actually takes place in the cytosol and it converts no3 to no2 minus and nitrite reductase nir helpful to convert no2 minus into ammonium ions and nitrate reductase nadh is the electron donor in nitrite reductase ferridoxin how many reducing powers are required six ferridoxins are actually required six ferridoxins are required here which is the electron donor and here we know one nadh is required electron donor here this is very important so today in today's series we have understood the difference between nitrate reductase and nitrite reductase which is an important question that you will be getting in your examination whether in a part b or part c i am sure that this video is helpful for you if you really like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel biotechnica and join biotechnica where all the concepts are actually made simple thank you once again for joining and i'm going to meet you back again in the next video thank you